mom was in bed and she was having sex with another man. I think she's the biggest slut in the world. Why do it in your own bed with your children? He is lying. You're the one that's lying. I'm the one that woke up and saw y'all. No. I don't want nothing to do with you no more. She told me Steve was not my father. Did you know the information would destroy her, would hurt her? At that point, no, I did not think. Oh. If I ruined my daughter's life, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut, cut it. it. You lied to me. You should have told me. Mom chose men and sex over her own kids. Well, that's the feeling that kids that you are going to meet today live with each and every day. So the, and they're not all real young children, they've come here to tell mom, your affair and what you did for your sexual pleasure ruined my life. This is eight-year-old Sean, and this is his 16-year-old brother, Adam, and they're here with their dad, whose name is John. Two years ago, tragedy struck in this family when dad had three aneurysms that uh, burst in his brain and almost killed him. And while Dad was struggling for his life in the hospital, Adam woke up one night because he heard voices coming from Mom and Dad's bedroom. And knowing that Dad was in the hospital, Adam went to make sure that Mom was all right. What Adam found was that Mom was in bed and she was having sex with another man. Uh, Adam later learned that Mom had had affairs with three different men. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, and when Dad finally came home from the hospital, Mom, it's more complicated than this, but Mom took off. And uh, these boys have really barely seen their mother in over two years. What happened to the family after Dad came home from the hospital and he found out about the affair? Well, about a week later, when my dad finally confronted my mom about it, she went into her room with my dad, and they started hollering. Mm -hmm. And then I went in there, and I saw my mom hit my dad twice in the head and start beating on his chest. Even though he had had... Brain surgery. Yes, right, ma'am. and he just came from the hospital. Yes, ma'am. And then what happened? Well, she come out, and she said, boys, I got something to tell you. She said, I want, I'm leaving, and I don't want to see y'all no more. I hate you. And she started saying all kinds of other mean stuff to us. To the two of you? Yes, ma'am. Why was she that angry at the two of you? I don't know myself. Uh, now, you had to miss about 100 days of school because yes, now Dad is home from the hospital, and you had to take care of Dad, right? Yes, ma'am. OK. Uh, Sean, you were only six years old when this happened? Yes, ma'am. I wonder if you were old enough to know that what was really going on, do you? Do you think so? Now, was Mother angry at you, too? Yes, ma'am. She was. John, this has got to be very hard on you. How long were you married? Close to 20 years. OK. I would guess that this would be a time in your life when you needed her the most. I needed her most then, ma'am. Yeah, I would think so. Man. Tell me what this has been like for you. Now, when she left, she came back seven times and left seven times. That must have confused the heck out of the children, did it? It was, it, it, it was like taking my world and crushing it and scattering it in the wind. And I would run here, pick up a piece, run here, pick up a piece. Sure. What's this done to the children? Destroyed their lives. Uh, my baby son, he has days at school for moms. I'm sorry. I understand. And, uh, and his mom doesn't show up. He has no mom. And the other kids laugh at him. And it, it tears me to pieces. Um, has, have the kids tried to keep in contact with her? Uh, I would urge them to call her mom to talk with her, and, uh... Did you boys try to do that? Oh, yes, ma'am. We wrote her letters, and as you can see right here, it says, uh, it says... Do, do not, not want. want. I've never seen anybody write that on a letter, do not and want. It says... Do uh, not write, move. <laughs> she, did she tear them up? Oh, yes, ma'am. I wonder why she's done that. Now, 
Those You've pictures seen of her them? house. Yeah, I asked him if she ripped them up, and he said, yes, I ripped them up. Yes, she ripped uh, them up. What are the hardest times for you? Well, the holidays, like Christmas, because I have no mother to buy nothing for, and on my right. birthday, there's no mother there. I can't have candles on my cake because my dad, he can't stand the smell. Uh -huh, because of the brain? Thing? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. No mom to talk to about growing up. Oh, right? no, no. Uh, she used to always call me fat, stupid, dumb, and all that. I just can't take it. My baby son, he I've dated several different women since this happened. And my baby son, he'll go up to him and say, are you going to be my mom? Will you love me? And, uh, and that's not worked out. How do you feel about mother now? Well, I don't like her. I think she's the biggest slut in the world, really. She's had so many. When a young boy says that about his mother, though, how does that make you feel? I don't like saying do nothing like that about my mom. But... Do you feel abandoned by her? Oh, yes, ma'am. When she said, I hate you, I don't want you no more. Mm -hmm. I don't. Did she tell your brother, the uh, Sean, the same thing? Oh, yes, ma'am. She even grabbed him by the hair and slung him against the couch. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he grabbed onto her leg and started crying, please don't leave. And she said, I don't want you, and grabbed him by the hair and just slung him. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a, not a very nice person. She, I'd she like to be her. Let's bring out Sean and Adam's mother, Kathy. Kathy, come on out. Uh, this is some pretty terrible stuff. That's oh, yeah. why everybody was so upset. Um, first of all, your husband is in a hospital fighting for his life. You've been married to him for 20 years. Yes. A, why have an affair at that moment? Why do it in your own bed while your children are <laughs> Number one, uh -huh. I did not have no affair with my husband. You're lying. You're lying. Okay. He no. claims. My husband knew everything that happened. Okay. My husband was there when the affairs went on. That's cool. My husband was there. You're lying. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You are saying that. Mama. You're saying that Sean, that both those children and your husband are lying. Right. Have you ever had an affair on your husband? No. You've never had an affair on your no. husband? No. You you've never, you just admitted it. You've no, never didn't. slept with anyone else while you were married to John? If I did, he was right there when it you, happened. You, you. Oh! Oh, you are. Oh, wow. When you left, the children said that you told them you didn't want anything to do with them. No, him. I did not. You did You're just not. lying now. Uh, Adam is are. failing school and has gained weight, and he cannot sure. concentrate. And Adam says you stole his career goal of being a baseball player. He yeah. has had to miss 100 days of school because, uh, well, yes? Can I ask a question? How could you leave Daddy when he was in the hospital dying? I did not leave your daddy in the hospital while he was dying. Then why, you went in the house and took everything we own and then went and lived with your boyfriend. That, that's what I call sorry. No, I did not live with my boyfriend. I yes, moved in did. with my best friend. Okay, I moved in with my best friend at the time. She's just okay. as bad as you are. No, just she's a slut. Not. No, you she's not. You destroyed. <laughs> No, you're crazy. Kathy, more saying you Kathy ever why don't you why don't you admit to uh, breaking into my apartment? I never broke into your house. Oh yes. No. Let me ask you a question, Kathy. Did you come back, leave and come back seven no. times? No, she did. I you, can prove you're it. You're a liar. No, I did you're not. I can prove it. No, I did you're not. You should did you I take you everything from the house? Did you take the things from the house? I took the things that a lawyer told me I could oh. take. What is your side of the story? My side of the and you've story? never slept with another man. My side of the story is he knows about them affairs. 
because he was right there. You, you bet I know about him. You bet I know about him. How could he be there when he was with me most of the time, spending time when you wasn't there? Hey, Are you right saying there. that Boom. he made you have affairs or he let you have affairs? He let me have an affair. He let you. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, you have admitted that you are not visiting the children. When our producer asked why that you didn't at least visit on their birthdays, you said, quote, sometimes things come up and you can't be there when right. you want to. That's right. What kind of things come up that you can't visit no the money. children? Do you feel you're a good mother? Yes. No. <laughs> Next question. Sean, are you all right? He's upset. Right. Come on, buddy. Come on, man. Sean. Sean, you, does this hurt your feelings? I understand Talk that. I would feel the same. I really would. This baby he has sat in my lap many, many, many times and cry. in the past two years and cry. Mm -hmm. Dad, how come Mom don't love us? Why did she leave us? Why did she hurt us? Sure. Why did she do what she done? Sean, would you like to not be here? Would you like to go uh, uh, off stage? You want to go off? You want to go off stage? I'll have somebody sorry. come. Tiffany, hun, come on and, and help us. I'm sorry. That's okay, Diana. That's perfectly all right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Does he think it's his fault? Uh, I mean, he Kathy knows. has told him that it's his fault, it's Adam's fault, it's my fault. Let me clear up something about, first of all, your wife is saying categorically she never had any affairs. She's lying. She is lying. Okay. Let me ask you something else. When you were married, was she, before you got sick, was she having affairs? Yes, ma'am. She was. I'm Why? Sorry. When your wife was having affairs, didn't you divorce her for the children's sake? Because of kids. Every kid needs a mom. Yeah. Every kid needs a mom. Yeah. The same father. I'm not sure. When she was five, she had a bad dream one night. So she crawled into her mother's bed and she found mom in bed with dad's best friend. This is Danielle and her father, Steve. Danielle says she's always loved being daddy's little girl. But now she has to question whether Steve is really her dad. Two months ago, Danielle got into an argument with her mother, Rhoda. And in the heat of the argument, mother was angry? Yes. Mother blurted out, 20 years ago, she had an affair. She cheated on Steve, so Steve really isn't your father at all. Now, this happens more than you may believe. I think almost every one of us knows some kind of story about that. After hearing that devastating news, Danielle has not spoken to her, her mother, and she says she will not forgive her for, is it for having the affair? or for telling you, or for what? For having the affair, for lying to me. For 20 years. For 20 years, and for the way she did it. Uh-huh. Now, as 
as I said, this is a bit complicated. Uh, Danielle, Steve, you were married. Yes. Were, right? Okay. And you broke up when Danielle was quite young, but you remained the father. Was he a good father? <laughs> okay. He took you on weekends, paid <laughs> child support, did the things we're always saying a man should do. And do you feel he was a father to you yes. for your life? Okay. Uh, I know you also had a sister. Yes. This is Mary? Okay. Mary is now worried that Danielle may not really be her sister, right? I mean, look at the ripple effect <clears throat> of what somebody is doing. And how has that affected you? I worry that it's going to affect her. It affects me, but I worry for her because she needs to know who her dad is. All right, what was this fit of anger that she told you that she had had this affair and he was not your father? Well, we were, the day she told me, we were arguing for over an hour. And About what? Different things, like okay. the problems that's been going on. Um, then she kept bringing up his name in the conversation. Whose name? S Steve's. But he's out of her life, right? He's out of her life, but she kept bringing him up in the conversations. Okay. And, I, you know, we were arguing. And she, that's when she, you know, told me, well, he's not your father anyway. What would you like us to do? Would you like us to try and find out if he is your father or who is your father? Yes. Okay. Rhoda, come on out. <laughs> You, uh, why did you tell Danielle that? If it is true, or first of all, is it true? I believe it's true. I believe there's a 95% chance that, that he Stephen... is not her father. Yes. That means, and you were married to him at the time. I was separated from him at the time. Okay, were you having an affair? Was he sep were you separated, Steve, at that no. time? No. Yes, no we way. were separated seven, seven times. And he wasn't shot. separated when... Well, sure we had yes. her. Well, yes. We were not. Yes. We were not. You ran that Okay, there's mom. a disagreement. You claim you were separated. He says you were not. Did you have an affair with somebody at that time? When we were separated, yes. Okay. If you let her believe for 20 years that this was her father, why did you decide to tell her? What, what, what's the sense? <laughs> words what did you gain by telling her and Danielle, what did you lose let's talk about gain what did you gain by telling her this is not her father the truth honesty okay if you wanted to be honest why weren't you honest 20 years ago how do you tell a little child how, the same way you tell a little child they're adopted you always tell a child the truth always. her reaction you decided to tell her because you wanted her to have the truth she knew two years ago not a couple weeks ago did you know two years ago no she you know when he ago. died you had an affair we feel it ruined two lives your daughters and your ex-husbands what do you say about that if i ruined my daughter's life i'm sorry sorry's not good <laughs> Sorry. sorry, don't cut it i'm sorry sorry doesn't sorry cut, don't it. cut it you lied to me and i what about you that has nothing to do with it. Everything has to do with it. Rhoda, you no, told it us that Danielle's older sister, the, is that Mary in the audience? Yes. That she's the problem. What do you mean she's the problem? No, she's not the problem. You're the Marianne problem. Marianne left my house when she was 16. She has been on her own since then. Right. Danielle left my home in May right. of this year, of 1995, okay. 96. Danielle was fine. Are they biological sisters? Yes. They're both my daughters, yes. Do they have a different... Same father? Do they have the same father? I'm not sure. Oh. 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 Are you sure who this child's father is? No. Are you are not sure who the child's father is? No. Have you asked your mother who she thinks your father is? She told, I didn't ask, she told me who my father was. She told me Steve was not my father. Who was And that father? somebody else was his, was my father. Who was that somebody else? Does he have a first name? 
Um, she said it was Joey. A man named Joe. Is this a man you were having an affair with at nine months before she was born? He's a man that I was totally in love with since I was 14. Where is he now? Where? He's dead. Sorry. He passed away. He's dead. So you're telling her she had a father and he was dead. And he's dead. Okay, Danielle would like Steve to take a paternity test. Uh, are you willing to do that to find yeah. out? Okay. We'll be right back. She'd like them bigger, she'd like them smaller. Women desperate for better breasts. I have to have sex with a t-shirt on because I'm ashamed to take it off. Learn the secrets to flattering your figure next Sally. So uh, we see <laughs> affairs can beget children and uh, you leave them believing one thing, and then you one day turn around and say, God, I love the truth. I got to tell you a whole lot of truth. Well, a whole lot of truth can really hurt. And affairs can really hurt. This is Nicole, who is 19, and her sister, Olivia, who's 20, and their 13-year-old sister, Athena. When Athena was a year old, she, they, the girls claimed that mom started cheating on the girl's father. And she kept having affairs while he was at work. Remember what I said, affairs can really hurt. Eventually, he found out and gave her an ultimatum, and mother decided that, uh, according to the girl, she'd rather be out having sex with a lot of men instead of staying home and being a mom. So, anyhow, mother rarely calls, and today the girls are going to see their mother for the first time in three years? Yeah. So, how often is mother in your life? Not, too, not often. She has rights once in a long time. And not often, though. Okay. Uh, let's start with you, Olivia. You were married. Did mother go to your wedding? No. Okay. Um, I told her, and she said she would, but she didn't. She didn't show up. Okay. <laughs> Athena, you told our producers you feel that mother chose a man over you? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel that your mother does not love you? Sometimes, because, okay. um, like, when I'm going through hard times, nobody's there for me. Okay. Does mother call you? Does she send cards? <laughs> no. Do you ever get a happy birthday card from mother? No. <laughs> Do you have any pictures of you and your mother? Just this locket. That's the only thing you have. Did mother have a bad reputation in town that made it hard for you growing up? Well, just um, recently, somebody went up to my husband and told him he slept with my mother. Okay. Very nice. Nicole, you said because of mother's affairs, you were one who took the wrong path. You turned to drugs to hide your feelings and turned to sex because you felt you hadn't got a mother and you really needed to be loved, mm -hmm. right? You seem to have straightened yourself out, have yeah. you? Olivia, you went the other way. You became the best girl in town, right? Isn't it interesting? I was a good girl. Yeah. I never got in trouble. It's interesting how, with that kind of a problem, one girl would try to be so good, and one girl would say, oh, what the heck? Now, you are concerned about your sister. Tell me why. She is 13. Why are you worried about her? 
Because she's starting to do the stuff that I was doing. Okay. She is starting she's not to not, 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 not having sex. sex, but like but um, experiencing and drugs and you know staying out late and stuff. Nicole, do you think you'll be able to forgive your mother for leaving you kids behind? I won't be able to forgive her. But no. Never. Let's meet Iris. Iris, come on out. Iris? haven't seen your children in over three years. They are extremely upset with you yeah. for cheating on dad and abandoning them. We have, uh, I'd like to address some of the things that we have heard. Uh, you have admitted to our producers to having many affairs, is that correct? Several. Several, okay. Uh, Iris, the children say that having these affairs have ruined their lives, so let's go over some of the things that they have said. Uh, do you know about Nicole turning to sex and drugs because she yes, wanted I to did. find love? Uh, I found that out afterwards. Okay. Um, so we no, haven't been too Nobody much. let me know anything, okay. what was going on with these girls. I would call and ask about them. Take a break, we'll be right back. When she was five, she had a bad dream one night. So she crawled into her mother's bed and she found mom in bed with dad's best friend. A few months ago, a uh, 15-year-old Frances came on the show in hopes of finding out why her mother, speaking of sex, had cheated on her dad and abandoned her as well. It was a very powerful moment, and many of you viewers wrote in wanting to know whatever happened to Francis. So let's take a look at how Francis found out about her mother's affair. When she was five, she had a bad dream one night. So she crawled into her mother's bed, and she found mom in bed with dad's best friend. Oh. And uh, she says that mom cheated on dad for years. Yeah. Right? No, I was confused because my mom said that it was okay and I shouldn't tell my dad because he would get mad and I shouldn't say nothing because it might hurt my dad. So I listened to my mom and I didn't want to hurt my dad, so I didn't say anything. That's the divorce was final on my sixth birthday. You right. showed me the divorce papers That's and I was right. five. The divorce was not final. We were separated? No, we That were. does not mean you're divorced. Although Frances was clearly upset, like any young girl, she did want her mother in her life. Take a look at this. Mom, you, you say you're gonna come and visit and you never do. And you say you have no money, but listen to me. This summer you went down to Branson, Missouri. You had money to go down there. You didn't have money. Come up and see me. Frances is back with us today and he'll tell us what happened after the show. Frances? Um, after the show, I went back with my dad and my stepmom in Washington, and I... Which is where you live, yeah. right? Now, and did you try to really establish a relationship uh, with your mother? Yeah, a I... mother-daughter relationship? I went, and my mom got me a phone number so I could call her anytime, and like a month after she got it for me, um, her boyfriend shut it off. 
and uh, she calls me whenever she feels the need and she's not really there anymore. It's just like she went back to doing what she used to do. Tell us what happened this past Christmas. Oh, <laughs> this past Christmas. You know, I don't have very much money, and so I bought my nieces and nephews some stuff, and I bought my mom uh, two pairs of these really neat socks that I like, so I bought them for her, and I sent them to her, and she sent me back a pair for Christmas that I bought her. We'll be right back. We're talking to children who feel that their mothers have ruined their lives. Maybe that's a bit strong, uh, certainly not helped their lives. And in most cases, it's because affairs and the toll that this has taken on the family. In most cases, these kinds of affairs tear the family apart. This is family therapist, Dr. Anne Renee Testa. <laughs> We've seen some terrible pain on the show today. Uh, when parents cheat, do they realize what this does to the kids? I don't think so, Sally. When those hormones are raging, they forget about their heart. And they just go for whatever it is, wherever they can get the love, that's where they go for it. Because they don't know how to love their own children. They don't feel love inside themselves. And they just don't know how to deal with what loving really means. Up here you see loving children and these women have treated their kids just like animals. Animals get treated better. Okay. Uh, we have our first uh, mother, Kathy, uh, who's willing to come back. Would you have Kathy come on? I want you to talk to Kathy and Renee about how the affairs and Renee I is there anyone in this audience who wouldn't love these two kids? Yeah. <laughs> and Renee, you can see how upset uh, Adam is. Adam might probably feel the same way that you felt. I, I wouldn't express it the same way. Please understand that after a while you learn that you can hold that anger. But I think you should talk to Sally, him. Sally, I got to reason. talk with Adam before. Sure. And what I said to both of the kids was that they can't change their mother. They can't expect to go to the well anymore, OK? But to know that Do you know what she means by going lovable. to the well? Do you know what she means by going to the well? Yeah. Don't, don't look for love in your mom, OK? But there's another very important part, because I don't want your life to be ruined where you think all women represent oh, your no, mother. No. Okay. And, and it's very how, important how can, to how get can rid you? of the anger, because the anger is going to own you. And you have the rest of the your life ahead of you. The anger hurts you. It doesn't hurt anybody yes. else. Yes, yes. And doesn't he stand a very good chance of having a dysfunctional relationship with, with women? No question about it. That's why I want, I, I'm so glad you're doing the show, because this will save them and help them to cut a new path, because this is not representation of what motherhood is all about. <laughs> Thank you.
We'll be right back. understand anybody letting a child think that someone is their father not telling him the truth and if you make that lie should she not have stayed with that lie for the benefit of everyone I don't believe she should have stayed with that lie I believe not. that Danielle needed to know a long time ago she needed to know a long yes, time ago and you've lived with that lie a long time and so has she but I want to say to Danielle don't let it ruin your life, girl. It was a big, bad mistake that your mother made. It was irresponsible. She was afraid to tell you, yes. and the years went on and on and on, and it made it worse and worse and worse for her to tell you. But you know something? You have your whole life ahead of you, Danielle. Do you believe that? I believe that, but I believe she should have told me years ago. Okay, but now you've got to tell her that and then move on. You tell should her have that. told me years ago. Yes, I agree with you. I should have, but it, I was afraid to. You don't have you don't have to be afraid of your children. It was not the point of being afraid of losing you. You were everything to me. Well, telling me now, you sure have lost me. Yeah. Yeah. I can never forgive you. Okay, you know something? What would be very healthy for Danielle? If you can forgive your mother, but not forget, because it'll always be a part of you, okay? Danielle, it's very important that you do that for one reason. You will carry that hate and hurt with you for the rest of your life, and it will ruin your life. And I don't want to see that happen to you. This has happened. You've got to forgive her and forget it and let it go, let it go, it's very important. Can you do that? It'll take a while. It'll take a while. And I'll work with you if you would like that. I will help you with that because you need to mourn that and that's what you're doing now. <laughs> she no, needs to. <laughs> Is that enough? Tell her how you love her. Show her how you love her. Is that enough? <laughs> Is that enough? Please. It's not enough. You should have told me. What are you going to do to help your daughter feel as though she's lovable? If I didn't want to help her, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> and you are a wonderful dad, and you are very lucky to have a dad. And by the way, he's your dad. I don't care who's... Oh, yes. Sperm. Yes. Question for the father. If the test results and that he's not the father, is he still gonna stand by her he as the father? Matter, no, yes, no. Where is he? Where was he? Out somewhere. I never knew where he was. So he didn't father no, her? No, I raised her by myself. I went weekends with him. And oh, when he was there with Karen. At that least was he was she... there then, and he's here now. Steve, Where was if the, other the results guy you said show my father? that you are not biologically the father, are you still going to be the father? Yes. Okay. I'd like to know what that means to him. How present is he going to be for Danielle? You're going to be very, very important to her. Two. Very important to her. What about our three young ladies? One of whom the, the other sisters are worried about. I feel very sorry that you are three very beautiful young ladies and that you have a mother who has been totally dis d not responsible for you at all. You had no right to bring three girls into this world and walk away from them in the way that you have. Okay, and Renee, and Olivia, what did you start to ask your mother? What do you want to ask her? I said if she's willing to move back, because Athena men still need her, and you know I want her to know my children, because I'm pregnant again. Okay. 
and that if, if I can, if me and my husband can, we will send her money to help her move back. Okay, we'll be right back. Although Danielle's mom, Rhonda, had cheated on Steve, a paternity test proved that Steve is, in fact, Danielle's biological father. Danielle and Steve were both thrilled. However, Danielle has not spoken to her mom since the show and told us, it will be hard for me to forgive my mother for hurting me this way. 13-year-old Athena, 19-year-old Nicole, and 20-year-old Olivia told us that their mom, Iris, has not tried to contact them at all since the show but they still hope that mom will follow through on her promise to move closer and start being a real mother to them. After the show, Kathy promised her sons that she'd call her right, but so far they've not heard from her. Nevertheless, eight-year-old Sean and 16-year-old Adam say they're feeling much better since the show. And their dad, John, told us, coming on this show was a blessing. The boys have really come to terms with their feelings. They're much less angry, and they don't expect miracles from their mother. Thanks to Sally and everyone at the show for making the boys and me feel loved. Somehow, as we're doing this show, I, I don't particularly care much about the mothers one way or the other, but I do care about the children. I think the most important point is for the kids to know that they are not responsible for their parents' actions. They are not responsible, and that applies to you, Adam, tremendously. See you next time.